Namaste. Good morning. I want to greet you this morning with the words of Bob Marley and my mentor, Jesus. And I want to I want to share those words with you this morning and encourage you with them because I know that they are going to dramatically impact the way that you are seeing the world and the way that you feel about it presently with all this COVID-19 and the economic disasters that are supposedly being forecasted and all that. So hang on, watch this video, it will encourage you, and there's grace here right now for you to begin to not only sink more effortlessly into who you are, but to also um, begin to play on this beautiful playground that we call the world. So here we go. So the words of Bob Marley, for all of you out there, he said this. He said, there was three little birds by my doorstep. They were singing their song, a melody pure and true. They were singing. This is our message to you. Singing, don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright, yeah. Saying don't worry about a thing. Cause every little thing gonna be alright, yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. It's a beautiful day. It's gonna be okay. Oh, Jesus in like manner Jesus and Bob Marley apparently collaborated a bit he he said this he said um, why are you worrying about what you're gonna eat about what you're gonna drink about what you're gonna wear he said just be present in this moment everything that you need is present here in this moment he said look over there at the birds he's like check them out they neither sow nor reap they don't have any money in savings how many of you maybe you don't have money in savings right now and you're like ah what happens when this government stimulus runs out or when I start you know ah Birds don't have any money in savings, so just watch a bird today. I don't have any money in savings. And yet, your Heavenly Father takes care of them. And look over there at the, the lilies of the field. They're here today, because today is all that is real. And they're gone tomorrow. And yet, they're clothed, they're arrayed, and more beauty than Solomon, who could be compared to like our richest man alive, which like Bill Gates. They're... they're they're arrayed to clothes like Bill Gates and all of his glory. His best dressed moment, the lilies of the field, outdo him. He's like, so why would you worry? Worrying has never added anything to your existence, to your life. And I know that right now, I'm going to give you a little secret here for us to begin to globally shift the vibratory frequency that is happening in our earth. Uh, when I talk about the playground, I'm talking about the world, just FYI. This playground right now is experiencing a vibratory frequency, a lower vibratory frequency, because everybody's watching the news, and they're getting all this negative information on the news, and um, these uh, economic disasters being forecasted, and they're watching all the numbers of people that are dying. Every time they get a little cough or a sniffle, they run to the doctor, oh no, might have coronavirus sort of thing. And I just want to, right now, I want to show you how we can, on this playground, when I talk about the playground, I'm just talking about the energetic um, system, the energetic world in which we're experiencing life. So this is one side of, of the coin. You have ultimate reality, and then you have what is not just perceptional reality, but what is playground reality or consciousness. And uh, without going on into all those details, maybe for another video. What we can do right now is you can turn your fucking TV off and all the negativity on the news that's on that TV. And you can turn on positive, uplifting channels that are encouraging you and your vibratory frequency, physically and mentally, if you could just take your imagination with me 
and begin to see the world, the playground, as a beautiful place. See yourself loving, hugging, celebrating others. See yourself enjoying life again. See yourself having plenty of money. See yourself having the ability to provide food and shelter for your family. And then just begin to hold that. Instead of allowing the television, the talking heads on the TV and their bullshit to impact your frequency, forget that. Cut that off. And start seeing what you want to see. See the world the way you want to see it. The way you want to experience it. As long as you're seeing the world the way other people are telling you it is, then you're allowing them to dictate your creative possibilities, your creative potential. And they're using you like a pawn to help create their agenda instead of for us as a global consciousness to begin to create from a place of love and a place of joy and a place of bliss and a place of positive vibes. So cut off the negative vibes and turn on the positive vibes. And let's begin to create something beautiful. It will be okay. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel and let's shift global consciousness together. Also check out the daily video series that will help deepen your spiritual journey. And remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.